Welcome back to the third video in the Intro to Tyke API Management series. In this video, we'll be going over how to create and manage our first API. Here is a high-level overview of what we're doing today. We'll be making a request to a backend service such as HTTP bin and inspecting the response. On the top here, we'll see what the flow looks like if we were just to make a request and view the response. And at the bottom, we'll be managing our backend service through Tyke. For those of you who aren't familiar with httpbin.org, it's simply an echo server. So for example, if I go to the get endpoint, I'll get the headers of my request back. If I visit the XML endpoint, I'll get XML data returned. And if I go to the JSON endpoint, I'll get JSON data returned. Here you'll notice that I'm working with a local installation of Tyke. The first thing we want to do, if we haven't done so already, is click the APIs tab on the left. This will present us with two options the ability to design a new API, or to import an API. Let's click Design New API. Here's where we can give our API a name. The name I'll give my API today is HTTP bin demo. You'll notice that we support REST data sources, TCP or TLS data sources, or GraphQL data sources. The listening path here is just a slugified version of the name. And of course, the target URL or service that we will be reverse proxying to is httpbin.org. Let's go ahead and click Configure. Here's where you'll be presented with a list of options for your API. We're going to ignore most of these for now and come all the way down to the bottom. You'll notice that by default, Tyke expects an authorization token specified in the header of your request in order to allow this request through. We're going to select this and change it to open or keyless for now. Now let's come up and hit save. And there you have it. You've taken your first service and managed it through Tyke. But how do we test this out? How can we visualize what we've done? I'm going to use a tool known as Postman. If you'll recall from earlier, the backend service that we're proxying to is httpbin.org. For example, if I go to httpbin.org and hit the get endpoint, I'll get the headers of my request back. But this is me directly contacting the service. How do I hit httpbin.org through Tyke? Well, if I flip back to my dashboard and I click into the API we just created, I'm given an API URL at the top. Let's go ahead and copy this. Tabbing back to Postman, I'm going to create a new request. I'm going to paste in the request URL. And just as before, I'm going to try to hit the get endpoint. And there you go. We have taken our first backend service and managed it through Tyke. For those of you who are managing your APIs on Tyke Cloud, the way in which we access the services is slightly different. The first thing we want to do is take a look at the control plane. Make sure to make note of the edge tags of your edge gateways. Additionally, you'll want to make note of the ingress URL, and you can click this button right here to copy the value. Next, in Postman, make sure that you paste the value in the request URL. Coming into the APIs tab on our dashboard, I'm going to click into our API. Over in the advanced options, I'm going to click this tab and scroll down to the section where it says segmentation tags. If you'll notice from before, one of my tags said edge, so I'm going to give this API an edge tag. I'm going to come up here and hit update. Now in doing this, what we've done is we've told Tyke that API requests coming in should be routed to this edge gateway. Let's click back to the core settings. Let's scroll up to the section where we have our listening path and make sure to give this a copy. Tabbing back over to Postman, we're going to paste the listening path at the end of our ingress URL. And what we want to do is we want to hit the get endpoint of HTTP bin. And you'll notice that now our requests are going through Tight Cloud. And it's that easy. I've shown you how to take your backend service, which is HTTP bin for today's demo, and manage it through Tyke, both on an on-premise installation and through Tyke Cloud. In the next video, we'll go over some of the more advanced configuration options and plugins that we offer out of the box. See you soon.